Okay, so let's see if we have instructions. And of course, the old box cutter had to hide again, and I don't blame it from this set. <laughs> and I have a feeling that I'm going to be disappointed again with these. And when a lot of us heard that Super Mario was coming out years ago, we got all excited, thought we would get some CMFs along with it. No, we get these expansion courses. So let's see if there's a manual in here. Let's see. Well, I see some paper in there and some dust coming out of the box. And let's see here. Well, I get plenty of parts and a whole lot of nothing. And yeah. Um, now I'm saving these for when they do release the building guides. We can build them later on. So I'm still keeping them in the box. But right now, the value on these is is a flat out F. So that's what I'm grading them as. Okay, so looks like we get ourselves some balloon pieces of various colors. And of course, if you want to stack these up, just stick them on the studs like that. <laughs> so we get two pinks and two dark pinks or medium pink. So I'll just stick those on there like that to kind of keep everything compacted down. So that's pretty much what these are is that. I do need these, but not in that color, but still nonetheless pretty cool. And we have number bags to a set that doesn't have a building guide. Lego, why waste your ink on that, huh? Okay, so it looks like we get ourselves five bags. So what I'm going to do, unlike the other ones, I'm just going to start with bag one. We're going to do these really quick. I'm just going to just go right through them fast. And the sad thing about these sets is everything's printed. Usually I'm hard about stickered stuff, but no, this stuff is printed and it gets a zero, so we can't even build it or anything. We'll start off here, and, well, let's get up closer to that. Okay, that's much better. So we got ourselves a turtle shell, a printed 2x4 cool yellow tile. What a waste, because I can't use it for anything now. Some legs, and 2x3 two plates, one of these 2x2 two two plates with the Technic pin on the bottom. Some... Okay, that's a Technic brick. I thought that was a snot brick. Just two Technic bricks, two bricks with two studs on adjacent sides, a 1x3 brick, lots of 1x1 one one stuff. Oh, we get a banana in there. Cool. I don't think that's going to make up for the lack of building guide and we do have a snot brick and a useless scanning tile. I also get a 1x3 brick that's printed. Okay, pretty cool. Just some very basic stuff. So far it's got a lot of nice colors. Now for bag two, let's see what we got in here. And this set retails for $49.99 so I'm hoping I'm getting $49.99 worth of parts out of this especially with my time. <laughs> we got a dark orange and a bright green 6x6 rounded plate. Pretty cool. It's great for making platforms. And some of these leaf pieces, these types, so they look like little candlestick holders, but they got the leaf pieces on them. Hoping to see more of those. It would be great for making vines for jungles or something. 2x6 plate. At least with this set, it didn't have stickers. It didn't even have a manual with it. Got a 4x4 four four round plate and some of these little cloud pieces. 2x4 plates, some flat tiles. Oh, this one's got that goofy scan thing on it that's useless. And some of these little 1x2 plates with the shaft. Great for like extending figures out or accessories out, like from a building or something. And we got some of these. Uh, well, that's an angular plate there, but this is a Technic lift arm with a 2x2 two two plate attached or the other way around we got some sand yellow bricks and plates there some profile bricks some bricks with bow you can always use these we got some 1x2x2 by two by two wall elements 2x2x2 two by two by two thirds plate with bow and some of these 1x2x1 by one and 2 thirds brick with what, eight studs? So you could put these back to back here and make a nice pillar out of those. Anything else worth mentioning in here? And of course you got 
various plates and bricks with dowel and stuff. So, so far, nothing worth mentioning. Well, here's a 2x4 plate with a double lift arm. Okay, let's see what's in here. And so far, it's got a nice selection of parts, but not for $50. <laughs> Especially when you can't build it. Alright, let's see what we got in here. And we got some of these little friends flowers. I can always use those. And some 1x2 dark orange plates and a 2x2 dark orange round flat tile. Or a round plate, my bad. We got some jumper plates in here, various sizes. Uh, 1x2 flat tiles in brittle brown. A 1x1, oh that's a uh, dark green. Earth, earth green. 1x1 one one plate with top holder and some leaf pieces. And some 1x1 one by 1x1 one by one by one upwards angler plates, some corner flat tiles. Some Technic pins with studs, um, accessory holders, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that bag had some smaller pieces, stuff that I could probably use. Bag three. I don't know why they're numbered. We don't get a manual with it. I mean, it's nice if I could download one, but with these pre-reviews, LEGO gives us very limited access on things. Okay, so 6x6 six six plate. Well, actually, we get plenty of plates here. 2x6 six plate with four studs on one side, and then 6x6 six six parabola dish, a 6x6 six six round plate. Well, this, these colors in here don't look too exciting. It's like something you see in Minecraft. <laughs> a couple of these 2x2, two 2 two, two thirds plate with the studs, and we got another one of those. Some more of these. Eight stud, one by two by one and two thirds bricks. And looks like we get some more smart tiles and a nose. I don't know what I'd use a nose for, but this, this tile here is useless. All right, we got some plates with bow. These are always nice to have, is these um, one by three inverted bricks with bow. I think we get a couple of those in there. We got the regular one by three brick with bow. Also get a two by two by two thirds plate with bowels. So you get a lot of bowels in that one. And a couple of these 1x2 plates with a 45 degree slope attached. Some more snot bricks here. That's what I call them. Like this is a 1x4 brick with four studs and a 1x1x1 1 by 1 and 2 thirds brick with two vertical studs. Great for like attaching siding and bricks to buildings. Little roof vent piece. Some of these 1x2 plates with the shaft. So these are obviously solid. We've got some palisade bricks right here, some flat tiles. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, stuff that we've seen all the time in other sets. This one doesn't look too bad, it's colorful. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I can use those plant parts from my campground. Since this is pretty much a parts pack set, I'm always after these. And notice the little hole on the top. You can stick one of those friends flower hair, hair accessory ribbon things in there. So we get a couple of those. We get a few leaf pieces. That's it. You think you'd get more for 50 bucks? <laughs> Give me a forest in here, you know. You get plenty of hard tiles. Look at all the hard tiles in here. Let's see. You get light pink, dark pink. These must go on the balloon. Now, I really wanted to build the balloon too, just to see it, you know. Even if I didn't have the starter course, I could still play around with it. We also get some transparent orange 1x2 plates and transparent orange little 1x1 one one pyramid pieces. So I don't, don't know what you'd use those for. Oh, an inverted 1x2 by 2 by thirds plate with bow, round bricks, studs, um, well Technic pins with studs. There's some more of those friends flowers. That's what I call them, friends flowers, so, you know, round plates and stuff. So yeah, I mean, this just this bag here had a lot of, I don't know, this this color palette just didn't really excite me too much. Moving on to bag four, I do see some POIs or parts of interest. <laughs> I'll set that off the side here. So we got a dark brown door. I'm hoping there's something that goes in that. Ooh, okay. Um, these are what six by six by two brick with arch or brick with bow. 
Oh, too bad they didn't give me four of these. You can make a whole entire house with those, like a roundhouse. <laughs> a smurf house. Oh, man, they didn't give me enough of those. What a waste. Oh, for 50 bucks, you think they'd give me more? And yes, I sound greedy. You also get a couple of these here. I wonder if those fit in there. Oh, they do. Okay. Well, that doesn't make up for it. And of course, we got one of these 2x2 two two, uh, quarter round wall elements. Oh, too bad you can't get a couple more of these. These would make great for like making curved walls in homes or something. So maybe those would come in handy. A couple of 2 by 10 plates in brittle brown. Some of these printed star tile or star bricks. Those are pretty cool to have. And a round brick that is printed. You know, Lego, if you would have just included a building guide with this and a starter course, this would have been an excellent set to review. Because we have part of Toad right here. Well, that's a funny plate. It's like a 3 by 4 plate with a raised thing on it, but... It's got a gap there. <laughs> well, okay. And a 4x8 plate. Another one of these dark orange 4x4 round plates. Okay, we have a... looks like this is light nougat. Obviously that's Toad's head. I don't know if I want to get any more of that color or not. Let's see if they, Lego makes it in other variants and sizes. Some legs that are useless. Um, maybe Toad's not useless. But too bad we can't build him. Some 1x4 bricks with four studs. A couple of these snot bricks. So we get a set of 1x2x1 two by one and 2 thirds brick with four studs and one of these. Well, we get two of them. 1x4 brick with four studs there. Okay, I thought that was a hinge, but no, that's fixed. <laughs> and some flat tiles. Some profile bricks. Ooh, a watering can. Cool. We use that to water the garden. And a pitchfork or a trident, depends on how you look at that. Okay, that'd be great for a farm. One of these 1x2 Technic bricks with cross hole. Yeah. Remember we were looking for these in white for the propane tank, so this one's in blue with the label. So maybe that could still come in handy for something. Maybe it's for Toad's body. Small bag. Let's see this here. And, you know, I'm doing blunt reviews on these. All my reviews are honest. I just call it as I see it. Okay, round, 2x2 two two flat tile. I can always use that. I don't think I have any of those in blue, or I don't have a lot. Some round plates. Some arms, probably for Toad. A regular 1x1 one one brick. Rocker bearing plate. Some 1x2 flat tile with arch. Another one of those goofy tiles that are absolutely just of no good and no use. Um, okay, I could use some of these. These one by two plates. No, one, they're two by two plates with two studs. There's just so many parts to memorize these days. Some more bricks, one by three plates, tiles of various sizes, and some hollow studs. Looks like we get them in brittle brown and in sand yellow. So that's pretty good. And some of these, are these friction? No, these are just regular Technic pins with stud. Let me guess, a useless tile, right? Yep. And a three stud long cross axle. Okay, these are good for a tad. Maybe this is used to attach the door right here. That's what these are used for. That and the shutters and stuff. So we got the hinging mechanism for that. So far, you know, some parts in this I could use. And finally for bag five. Let's take a look in here. And when we do our final synopsis, I will look up and see how many parts this set has. For $50, it should have over 500 pieces, so I could have been wrong. Uh, a couple of these 6x6x2 by six by thirds round plates. And, you know, these do make good platforms. So just imagine you come in here doing something like this. Even if you get the set just for parts, it'd be pretty good to use those for. Okay, we also get some 4x4 four four variants of the same plate as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Don't you roll off. Little water splat piece. So, it looks like somebody sp spilled water all over the Lego table. And some of these transparent 2x2 two two round bricks with cross hole. These are always nice to have too. 
is these um, those are five by five brick width arch. Well, at least they give you four of those, and at least they're nice about that, huh? And two by ten plates, some three by six half round plates, and some of these right here. These are nice to have. I've been seeing these come in a lot of new sets lately. These these are three by three uh, round brick with arch. Like we got three in there. No, we got four. Okay. And some one by two bricks with two studs. Those are in bright pink. And some eyes staring at you. Yeah, I'd be staring too. I uh, now I've never seen these in pink before. One by two by two by two upwards angular plates. Okay. Okay, a nice bull nose piece. Now these are printed. Oh, this one's printed with the nose. So this probably goes with the eyes. Without a manual, I have no clue, so I'm just guessing. <laughs> Another one of these type of um, angular hinged force things. Two by eight plates, some round plates here. We got an eight by eight and a six by six. Dark orange profile bricks. More useless tiles, okay. <laughs> with the scan barcode scan, four by four round bricks and stuff, and some legs. And a track piece right there. Let's see what's in this one. And I can't wait to get this done because I got more to do. <laughs> I'll see here. Some people say I'm a little hard on this stuff. Well, if I get an incomplete product, yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, some six stem stocks. How many of these do we get? Looks like we get four of those. And plenty of stud flowers, um, quarter round tiles. So there you go. We got one by one and two by twos. Makes a great color combination right there. And oh, what a waste. More useless tiles. And oh, I like that. Pink, uh, these one by two triple 45 degree slope in gable end or something type roof pieces. I've never seen those in pink before, so those would be great. Of course, we got some one by two jumper plates and some of these one by one by two thirds plate with bow. Some leaf pieces, you can always use those. Lots of stud flowers and some round two by two plates with one stud or a round jumper plate. Some round plates and studs and or stud flowers, some shoe glider plates, pink one by one Technic bricks with one hole. Well, to make this more exciting here, I didn't separate all the bags, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour it all out on the table here, and then I'm going to go pull up how many pieces this set does have, and we'll just take a final assessment here. So, this set does have 453 bricks, probably a bit more because usually LEGO gives you extras and stuff. And you can see I pretty much maxed out my viewing range on the camera, so I'm trying to get it all in frame there. And from what I can tell, you do get a good assortment of plates and smaller pieces. But um, I'd say this is probably on the higher scale of price value for just a random bin of parts. Now, let's get into the review, <laughs> since I don't have a building guide or anything. Play value. Um, could the set be played with? Not in its current state. You know, as you can see, it's there's no manual. I can't build it, so play value is just non-existent here. And here's something I forgot to mention: one of these two by three tiles with the lines on them. What a waste. Um, build experience. Not, not. I didn't get to build it, so I didn't get to build it at all. So the build experience doesn't exist. Um, we already talked about play value. Is the build strong? Well, as you can see, it's in pieces, so yeah, it's not too strong. So yeah, this, that's a zero there. Uh, mock value. Could you build a mock with this? Could you add this onto a mock? Yes, you could. You could build something random out of these pieces and make something pretty cool. So there is enough stuff in here you could build something pretty nice with this. So yeah, this could be used as a mock expansion pack or something. As for city drop-in value, if you have a landfill or you want to build a landfill for your city, you can fill this in or maybe use some of these pieces to enhance your city, but that's pretty much about it um, for that. 
So for the price value of this, I'd say it's on the steeper end of $50 for what you're getting. And I'm sure some of these pieces like this probably cost a dollar a piece. So if you're looking for a set with balloon parts and stuff, yeah, this set pretty much has them. Do I recommend this set? Well, if Lego would include at least, or you could buy at least a little starter figure separately or something really cheap, and the starter figure is never to be found. You can never find them in stores anymore, so I don't know why they're still producing these. Well, for me anyways, I've never had luck. Um, somebody told me that I think a big box store had them for $70, $75 for the starter course, for at least one of them. No, I'm going to walk right past that. <laughs> And some have said they found the starter courses for $20. If I could find one for $20, I will buy it and review it. But with this, without a building guide, and even if I had the starter course, you know, I, how am I going to update my Mario minifigure? And I've heard nasty stories about those things not updating correctly. So to me, this is just a random hosh posh of parts. Not necessarily junk parts, a lot of this stuff could be used, but stuff like this, that's just, that's just, uh, that's just a Lego room filler for me, but honestly, uh, if you find this set on sale, if it's on a clearance, yeah, I would probably pick this up, but if you see it for $50, and you got to make sure if you find this set, though, the recipient of this has her or they have to have one of these three right here. They gotta have the Mario, which is 71360. They can have Luigi, which is 71387, or Prince is 71403. If, you, if the recipient of this set has those, you're set. And as long as they have access to that and the instruction manuals, this could be playable. But for, for assessment, for myself, I just kind of wasted, what, 15, 20 minutes filming this. So, well, at least we got to take a look at the contents and see what was inside of one of these. 